Hello you sweet and savoury penis pustules, Jim Sterling here and this is Half Dead. It's a science fiction game set in the future where criminals take part in a deadly game show. A bit like Smash TV, except this is traps instead of people with baseball bats. Um, we're going to play it, that's what we're going to do. There's a multiplayer mode, but I haven't been able to get into a lobby yet. I gave it a little try beforehand and I couldn't get anything to work, but we'll try this. Maybe, maybe we'll get lucky. Oh shit, actually yeah, maybe we will get lucky. Um, okay, well it's just a chat here. Um, we've got a full room of four. Brilliant! Okay, the game's starting. So I gave it a little go. Uh, the basic idea is to go through a series of rooms, each of them trapped in some way, or maybe they're not trapped, but you've got to find the exit. What I've done there is I've thrown my boot, you see? That's basically how you play the game, is you open doors and throw boots to see whether the room is trapped. Like that. I don't know what that is. Got an achievement there for finding five traps. So I've, I've lost my boot now. But as you can see here, there's a lot of lasers. I guess that's it. I guess that trap's okay. So that's what you do. There's no more nuance to it than that. There's some different traps though. Okay, I don't see no trap here. So I've got this person following me. They know the score. The other ones have just wandered off on their own. Looks good. You can hear some other trap going on elsewhere. I like the premise. It's in early access, so maybe there will be content later, but until then, it is just boat throwing. Boat throwing? I said boat throwing. Boot throwing simulator 2016. So, not trapped. God, there's. This is actually a really bad game to show you an example of because there's nothing happening. <laughs> I'm starting to worry that I'm going around in circles, but... Okay. Oh shit, spikes! I didn't see them for a second. Got out of it though. Let's open it up. They've gone. I've got my boot back, though. So, I believe once a thing's been activated, you're good. No, we're all right. You're all right. You can keep your boot. I can hear just this ominous hum. Whoop! See, I mean, it's it's a good basic idea, you know. It's just there's not a lot else. I'd love a game with um. Oh, it's the exit. Jim Sterling win. And there's a little dance of baldy men. <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh, I'll click for restart. Game lobby closed. Okay. Well, let's try something a little harder. Mode standard. We'll go with standard. That'll do. Hard. Maybe there'll be a bit more action. I like the I like dystopian TV show premises as a sci-fi premise, and I like games with death traps that we don't really get much of. You know, most games are either straightforward puzzle games or they're um, you know combat against antagonists and whatnot. Rarely do you contend with like legit death traps as a thing. I saw someone in the comments for this, or in the reviews for this, say they'd like to see Jigsaw DLC. And I really would like another Saw game again. Something like this, like first person with a, a series of death traps in a house or whatever. Okay. So that's a bunch of uh, bombs, essentially. Open it up again. 
There we go. But hey, got our boot. So I don't know what makes this harder than everything else, because, again, essentially that's what you're doing. So that's a flamethrower turret. Open up. You can actually just, you can walk around the flamethrower turret. If this opens up in time, I'm going to try and get my boot back. So we just circle around this. I saw the flamethrower in uh, the first game I tried before I recorded. Um, hopefully we'll be safe in the doorway here. Okay, looks like we're all... Oh shit, more spikes. Bollocks! I feel good about that way, so... If we just, again, just slowly wait for the flamethrower to... Finish what it's doing. I guess now's a good time, as good a time as any, to send my best wishes to everyone affected by the closure of game trailers. Fucking oh, my boot's still here. It's uh, fucking shit. You know, it was an, an inevitability. The writing's been on the wall for a while. That doesn't make it any better. There's that laser wall again. Can I just run in and turn this on and quickly? I got too. I got too clever. I got too clever. Um. Okay. Well. Bye. Juicy. I just didn't want to wait for the fucking. That's the. Uh, that's. What this game is, it's it's not really a test of wit, skill, wariness, it's a test of patience. It's like, will I get bored and just run in here? Oh, oh back for more, eh, laser wall? See, now we just sit here and wait. I mean, we could alternatively go this way, but then we're one boot down, so it's like... You wanna... You wanna just commit to one direction, not the band. But, you know, once you've... Once you've activated a trap, you kind of feel like just sticking with that direct, you know, that that route that you you forged for yourself. So I'm gonna go this way anyway, since it's all headed in that direction. Looks like that's all right. So I don't know what their plans are for the game in the future. Whether they'll do anything a bit more involved than what we're doing here. But who knows? So there you go. I mean, this is pretty much the exact same thing as the last room. Except you get trapped in there if you walk in. Well, I guess that's it. I guess that I guess that is proper trapped. So we are down a boot. So that's good. All right, we're fine. I oh, know we're not spikes. I never notice the spikes until I'm in the room. Good job you don't get impaled right away. Now yeah, they're gone. Onward. So yeah, I wrote actually I wrote an article about the game trailer's closure on the gymquisition.com if you uh, are interested in my thoughts. It's not so much specifically about game trailers as it is sort of games media in all and how what happened to game trailers is indicative of the state of uh, traditional games media especially well I mean exclusively in terms of the article the big corporate owned stuff okay we're good You know, I think it's sad. It is uh, the nature of the beast. I think the video games are uh, the video games media sites are hurting themselves, and it's kind of not their fault because they have no other. They know no other way of existing, but in a way that is self-destructive. You know, most of them are too big to efficiently be able to use YouTube because they need proprietary. Well, there's our boots. Gone for good. You know, 
they use proprietary videos because they don't make money off YouTube. And because of that, they use shitty web players that no one likes and no one wants to use. So they're less likely to use them. Uh, they're beholden to ad companies, but they don't make enough money off ads. But they've got no other way of making money without sponsorships, which they need viewers for. And, and like the whole thing is just contradiction after contradiction. Which I argued much better when I had it written down rather than me rambling at you all. Okay, that's the best we got to do now. We're just running into rooms and stopping. <sighs> I wouldn't mind so much if the doors didn't take forever to reopen. They sound a lot like the, uh, the doors from Doom. Identical, almost, to the point where maybe that's what they're using. Oh, I just bolted in here without being careful. Oh, okay, it spikes again. Can I just stand here? Oh, no, I get pushed out. I was wondering maybe I get crushed or something, but... So, yeah, I can't say I'm particularly impressed by the game. Um, I think it's cheap, like a dollar, dollar or two, can't remember. It doesn't cost much, but then it just doesn't seem all that worth it. There we go. Dancing again. We'll try one more multiplayer, shall we? Um, it's not letting me... Yeah, this is the problem I had earlier. It wouldn't allow me to click on anything. So I couldn't get... whatever. That's half dead anyway. It's half done. That would have been good, except I don't even feel the game's a fraction of the way done. Oh wait, hang on. There we go. That went a bit green. So I guess we can do that. Oh, wait. Okay, we're going to give this one more go. Uh, I would have liked to have done a, um, a hard game multiplayer, but everything's in-game. So I'm just going to have to go in-lobby. But it's 6x6, six six, so it's a bit different, I guess. Oh. Okay, then. I think you more or less get the idea. If you like throwing boots into rooms, then then it's cheaper to just throw your own boots into your own rooms. I'd, I'd recommend doing that instead. Until next time, I'll, I'll see you later. Bye.